my name is Jonathan, I buy vintage clothing and then I sell it on for a profit. And in this video, I'm going to show you what I've got this week and give you an idea of the kind of money we can make. But first, a couple of announcements to make. So first up, uh, we actually have a new website showing up. JustOldThingsIFind.com is the name. On this site, you're basically going to find the wholesale directory that you spend how to vintage. Um, you're also going to find um, bundles uh, of stock, because as you know, or if you don't know, there's some stuff that I get in that I don't want to keep, and I just sell it off for the cost price, uh, so some of you can potentially make that money. Uh, that website is going up this weekend, uh, so when this video goes live, the website should be live, um, and there'll be bundles on there available for you guys to uh, get your teeth into. Um, the channel name will probably be changing to something similar uh, in the near future. Um, it's just part of the whole downsizing. When we downsize, we close the limited company. I say we, I. Um, going back to being a sole trader, and obviously we can't use any of those names associated with a limited company anymore because that's gone. So the names are changing, the website's changing, but it does mean there are going to be bundles there. There are also going to be one-off rare pieces there, which I feel... Um, I just kind of want to basically keep hold of or sell for a price that feels worth it and I don't want to just sit on eBay in like a churning wheel all the time. So there are going to be one-off pieces, there are also going to be bundles for you guys as well as the wholesale directory. Um, I'm using Shopify, it's not sponsored or anything. If Shopify want to pay me though, you're welcome to. Um, there is going to be basically plenty of uh, other stuff coming on because it seems like a fairly easy website to kind of add stuff to. It's like uh, longer blog posts and I really want to get back to the label guide thing as well but that's future stuff but for now let's get on with the unboxing okie okay, so uh, unboxing or unbagging what you want to call it I actually received two sacks so there's gonna be two videos um, we'll crack on with that but we do have three shops to look at um, if you remember in the last video I asked you to leave um, the name of your shops in the comments below um, and this time it worked so don't put links. If you put links, it won't show up. But if you just put the name of your shop uh, and what uh, platform it's on, um, I can then give you a shout out. Uh, but we'll do that shortly. First, let's crack this bag open and uh, see what we've got. There is two bags. There is going to be another video probably later in the week with the other sack. So keep an eye out for that. Now, I don't know what's in these sacks because I currently have about five of each type on order. So I'm finding out right now what's in this sack along with you. Well, I see a pair of Levi's, so I'm going to assume this is a branded sack. So I'm going to just put these over here. So it looks to me like the branded sack. So that's nice because last week we had the unbranded so for us to have a branded sack this week is very, very nice. And we're actually starting off with a vintage made in USA pair of 559s. Which, these look like they're from the 70s. What's the number on the bottom? Is it a low number? 695? It's not a big E pair, so I'm guessing 80s at least. They look short though. Oh, they have definitely been taken up. People need to stop taking the jeans up. The shorties out there. Oh, a pair of cord Levi's. White tag. Made in Tunisia, so not too vintagey. 32 inch inseam. Don't seem to be taken up, which is nice. GA. Armani. So when we did the jean video a couple of videos ago, if you've not seen it, I'll put a thingy up here. There was a pair of Armani jeans in there and they sold fairly quickly on eBay. 4432. That must be Italian sizes because that's neither of those things. It seems to have all the right hardware on it. Hopefully they're real. Nautica. Shorts. One thing somebody mentions I don't hold the stuff up enough. Uh, these have been sold for like 20 quid on uh, Depop. What's that? 
smells this. Barber shirt. It's a little worn, quite badly worn around the collar. But it's barber shirt, that'll still sell for something. Oh. <laughs> now some people get a bit fussy about these. I actually like them. Uh, Dickie's overalls. But these sell for 30 quid easy, so happy days, especially when they're brand new with tags. Is there any date on that one? Sometime they do date these. Oh, it's junior, so it's actually a kid's one. Might not be worth as much. Hudson's Bay. Why does this feel like it should be worth a lot of money? This is definitely vintage. It's like a proper sheepskin wool coat. Oh, it is 100% wool. Never seen this tag before. I'm going to move in so you can actually have a better look. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can see that, but. I don't know why this feels like it's worth money. You know, you get that feeling where something just feels well made. We're missing a button, which is a shame. And the cuffs are quite well worn, but this is old. I'd say 70s, looking at the tag. Is there any other tags in it? No. Maybe even a bit earlier. Interesting, interesting. We'll have to do a bit of research on that. Right, just quickly, um, I've just jumped in at the end of the video. I've just unboxed this. Gone and checked this piece right here. And Hudson Bay, I think it's part of Woolrich, looking at the uh, comments, uh, not the comments, but from stuff on eBay. But this exact coat sold for 140 quid just the other week. Now this one is in far worse condition. Um, however, um, this Hudson Bay brand, something you want to keep an eye out for because this coat is uh, worth some nice pennies. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. Ugh. Sweatshirts. Reebok, spell out, jobby, nice embroidery on it, champion, Adidas hoodie, oh that's cool, a nice, a less ski fleece, shame we're kind of out of that season, Ralph Lauren, made in Italy, it's really soft, like a merino wool maybe? There's the tag, there's the tag. Oh, it's cashmere wool mix. That's probably why it's so soft. Cashmere wool usually sells well and it has suede patches on the sleeves. So, nice Raveler end piece. Nike hoodie fleece job. Y2K. Nice embroidery across the front, and that probably sells quite well. North Face Puffer. <laughs> Women's North Face Puffer, that's a nice coat. This kind of coat, though, they don't sell as well as like, the bigger puffers, but it's still like 50 quid, I reckon. Um, need to clean though. If you don't know with puffers, uh, put them in the washing machine and then stick them in the dryer on its own with some tennis balls. I know it sounds weird but it will just basically bring it out super super fluffy. Now so I'm going to give out a shout out to three shops. I picked three shops on three different platforms um, and they've got some banger items on there. So give me a second I'm going to get my list because um, I forgot. Okay so the three shops going to shout out this week. You've got Vintage Casual on eBay. Uh, really nice shop, 500 plus items on there. My pick of his items though is the uh, 90s Star Trek audio cassette storybooks. Big Star Trek nerd, we're just coming off the back of season 3 of Picard. Um, we'll just forget about season 1 and season 2, they, they were terrible. The season 3 was fantastic um, and I nearly pulled the trigger on these uh, cassettes. If it wasn't for the fact that money's a little tight right now with having to move office and stuff, um, I'd have probably pulled the trigger on those. 
Uh, next up is RVMP uh, Vintage.com. Uh, they are also on Depop and eBay. Some really, really nice stuff on there, but the pick of that is the FUBU and Ford coat. I love Ford. As you know, I've got the XR3i. I've got a bit of a Ford collection going. And I grew up, when I was growing up, I used to buy FUBU off eBay.com in America because uh, I love wearing that kind of clothes. Um, so that's a really, really nice piece. Um, if you like any of that stuff, by the way, go check it out. They've also got a really nice Firestone Olympic piece, uh, which was really nice. That, that nearly got the shout out over the FUBU bit. And last but not least is uh, Funky Bear Vintage on Depop. Uh, they've got a really nice um, late 70s, early 80s uh, Lee Gillet, um, which was obviously used by a US uh, veteran, uh, US Army veteran, and it has POW uh, patches on it. It's got, um, like, I survived the uh, Vietnam War, Vietnam War patches, memorial patches all over it. Uh, really nice piece of vintage military Americana. Um, so yeah, be sure to give those guys a shout out. And if you'd like a shout out uh, for your shop in this uh, in, the, in the next video, um, make sure you leave your shop name and the platform in the comments below. But there you go, that's those. Right, so back on with the unboxing. Another North Face, like one of those neoprene type jackets. Columbia Puffer. It's actually really nice. Oh, it's like, huh. It's got neoprene sleeves, but like a, a shell body. It's a woman's one, but it's a nice coat. Polo, so I'm guessing Ralphie. Ralph Lauren X. I've never seen a Ralph Lauren X before, but it's a Parker. Bollocks of it. Really nice heavy zips on it. Mesh in lining, felt in hood. Is it for possibly a ski coat maybe? Because it's got that kind of like inner lining. It just looks a really nice walking coat to be honest. Three or four sleeves. It's a nice jacket actually. Oh, I love these. Like a, a Columbia pullover anorak. It's like a waterproof. I had a Calvin Klein one as a kid and I absolutely love that coat. Wow. <laughs> uh, check out this thing. Uh, Scotland national team, full embroidery, umbro uh, coat with chunky, chunky metal clasps. Really bright colours on the inside. Let me just open this up so you can see it. I didn't should have done that clasp. <clears throat> Check out that bad boy. <laughs> Let's bring the sack up here so we can see what's left. Get on top of the umbro, we won't lose them that way. Right, Nike jogging bottoms. Size small, but Nike, they'll sell well. Ralph Lauren jogging bottoms. Nice piece. Champion shell suit bottoms. Lacoste. The Lacoste ones go really well. Uh, so I reckon 25, 30 quid for those. Right, we're getting 2010 on this bad boy. Adidas piece. Oh, 2003. I was well off. That's an early one for the black tag. Barber. Feels suede I can't, I don't think it is suede, surely. It might be faux suede. Let's have a look if we can find a tag. UK size 16. Come on, where are you, Tag? You must be around here somewhere. Oh, it's faded out. Oh, no, maybe. Outer shell polyester, so it's, yeah, it's faux suede. That kind of feels suede like, though. That'll be our barber piece. 
that we were expecting. Uh, Nautica t-shirt, you know, t-shirts are not really my thing. England rugby top, Nike, all right. Uh, it looks like a kid's LA Lakers top. It says medium, I don't know. It's definitely not adult medium. Uh, another Adidas, fairly modern one. Nice piece though. Levi's t-shirt. Uh, Levi's polo, new with tags. Any dates? Looks fairly modern. RS, RS, RS. Oh, March 2019, there we go. So, fairly modern. But RS, isn't that like Korean money, maybe? Feel a t-shirt. That's actually a pretty cool print on the feel a t-shirt. Um, feel a shorts. Let's start down to the shorts. Adidas shorts, early 2000s. Quite thick as well, actually. Very early 2000s. Maybe late 90s. More Adidas shorts. Shorts are going really well at the minute. More Adidas shorts. <laughs> Michael Core uh, blouse, Ralph Lauren Ellington, and oh, a nice Tommy Hilfiger linen shirt. Levi's uh, flannel, and last but not least, another Ralph Lauren. This is also linen, so a nice linen shirt from Ralphie. Uh, anything else? What's this? Oh. Uh, and I did ask track top as well. So that is that branded sack. Um, let me know what you think. In the next video, we're going to be opening that bag. I don't know what's in that either. But uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, make sure you leave comments in the description below with uh, your shop name and uh, where your shop is. Like located, whatever. Um, and make sure you subscribe. So that's all that one. I'll see you next time.